In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer the prompt behind any image in Midjourney version 5 using the describe feature. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start reverse engineering some prompts. So unlike a lot of other uh, prompts in Midjourney, we're going to start with forward slash describe. And then Midjourney is going to allow us to upload a photo and it's basically going to give us different prompts that we could use to get a similar style photo. So here's one that I created with Midjourney. So I'm gonna upload this and we're gonna see what it gives us as the uh, prompt recommendations to create something similar. Okay, so you can see this was the image here that I uploaded. Um, and these are some of the ideas it gives us. So for number one, it says, Neon style wallpaper, city, night, lights, neon lights, art, dark art, colorful, in the style of post-apocalyptic landscapes, light cyan and crimson, V-ray, colorful sidewalk scenes, urban expressionism, solo punk, and lowbrow art. I don't even know what a lot of that stuff is. But um, let's go ahead and copy this first one. And I'm going to test it out and see what we get. So I'm doing forward slash imagine, I'm just pasting that in, and I'm assuming that was a mistake, but in fairness to Midjourney, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it exactly as it gave it to us. Okay, so this was our first set of results. So you can see it's definitely not exactly the same, but it does have a similar style. So let me upscale one of these and show you guys um, you know, this is pretty similar. It looks like it has a similar style. Um, so not too bad, definitely not exactly the same. Um, and you can see here, here's a couple more of the different um, prompt ideas that Midjourney gave us for this. So I think that probably a few of these may give us better results. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try one more. This one looks like it'll be pretty good. So let's try this. Nice, so this one turned out even better, I would say. Um, let me upscale one of these. And you guys can see that it kind of incorporated the colors a little bit better than that first one. Um, this is a really nice result, um, definitely looks similar. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another one. So once again, we're gonna use forward slash describe. And this time I'm going to use this uh, train logo design that I created using Midjourney as well. So here you can see, um, you know, these are pretty good. I think about what you'd expect. A green train on the tracks in a circle in the style of a graphic design, inspired illustrations, flat illustrations, dark teal and amber, detailed character design, landscape streamlined design, and stock photo. So let's see what happens when we paste this in. And let's see what okay. we get. So these were our results for this next one. Um, they do look a little different, but they still look really, really cool. And you can see, obviously, um, Midjourney did identify that it's a green train on the tracks. It's a circle. It's an illustration. It's a flat illustration. It identified the colors. Um, so I think that what this shows is how how good Midjourney actually is at identifying what is in the um, image. Okay, so for this next one, I wanna do something a little bit different, and that is I'm gonna try uploading an actual photograph instead of something that I created in Midjourney. So once again, we're gonna use forward slash describe, and then we are going to use this picture of a cheetah that I found on Unsplash, and let's see what it gives us. And just something to note, guys, I did run into a couple errors while I was trying to create this video, and I was a little confused, but um, I'm not exactly sure what the limit is, but be mindful of your upload size of photographs because anything larger than 1.5 uh, megabytes, I seem to have an issue with. So with that being said, this is what Midjourney gave us for this first one. So it says a cheetah is walking through the grass during the sunset in the desert in the style of Nikon D850, beige, night core, desert wave, shiny eyes, candid, dash dash AR 30 colon 19. So that's the aspect ratio. So um, let's go ahead and copy this first one and 
see how it turns out when we try this one. Okay, so these are pretty awesome. I have to say these are really, really impressive results. Um, let me go ahead and upscale one of these. But, you know, obviously it's not quite the same as far as the positioning, but it's pretty cool that Midjourney actually identified that it's a cheetah, it's walking through the grass, it seems to be in the desert. Um, really, really cool. And I mean, just look how good this looks when it's upscaled. It's really pretty incredible. So, um, Let's go ahead and we will try one more. And once again, I'm gonna use the image for this one. And this time I'm gonna upload this image of some Nike shoes. And I wanna see if Midjourney can actually pick up on the brand or if it will mention the brand as well. Oh, okay, so it did. Um, Air Blue Suede Nike Blazer Mid. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Um, so I'm gonna try this one as well just out of curiosity and let's see what we get but um, with this feature you know while this loads there are really so many different use cases as you find inspiration in other work or in images um, even if you're trying to create content for a website and you don't want to copy an image like let's say you find an image that somebody a photograph that somebody took that you want to use you can just put it in mid-journey get a prompt and create something really similar on your own to use. So it's pretty cool all the different things you can do with the describe feature. And it's obviously really good at identifying what is actually in the photograph. So I'm sure it's only gonna get better with time, but it's already a really, really cool, useful feature. So we can see that the background of these photos is a little bit, well, it's significantly darker, but um, the style of shoe is very, very similar, not quite exactly the same. Uh, I think only in the second one is it exactly the same, but still pretty impressive. Um, I'm sure some of these other ones work out pretty well too, but definitely give this feature a try, guys. I think that this is really one of the most groundbreaking features that Midjourney has released because it kind of takes a lot of the guesswork out of putting together great prompts. So when you see something that looks great, this is a great way to reverse engineer it and make that your own. So uh, definitely give this one a try. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel because I've got a lot more great AI tutorials and content coming for you soon. Thanks for watching.